Hello test takers and welcome back to exam prep solutions. Today we've got a couple of sample problems here. They're going to be conceptual problems going over mechanics of materials. We got one related to modulus, modulus of elasticity, another one on steel. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, like the video. Also, if you want our five steps to solving any FE exam problem guide, you can find that into the description box. It's 100% free. Just tell us where to send it. Anyways, let's get right into the problems. Try and solve these before I explain the solution or before I reveal the solution. Um, and then I'll get into the solution here. So I'm going to start. The question is, how would the modulus of elasticity be measured on the curve below? So we can clearly see the curve. It's a stress strain curve. And we have four options. A, determining the point of max deflection. B, measuring the slope tangent to the final data point. C, measuring the slope of the line tangent to the max deflection point. Or D, measuring the slope of the initial line of the stress strain curve. So which one of these is the correct answer? And if you've taken a mechanics materials class, you've done stress strain labs, you've done examples on that, you're probably going to know this one right off the bat. But if you didn't know that, let's evaluate this real quick here. So the modulus of elasticity can be determined by determining the point of max deflection. Stress strain, well, we're not really getting a point of max deflection per se on this graph. Uh, it could be here, but how would that help us determine the modulus, right? That's just one value. So I don't think it could be A. Um, B, measuring the slope tangent to the final data point. Could be, could be B. C, measuring the slope of the line tangent to the max deflection point. It could be this point here, that slope, although that slope would probably be close to zero um, if you imagine it because it'd probably be straight, it's tangent to it. So um, it's unlikely that would give us a value of modulus of elasticity. Then we have D, measuring the slope of the initial line of the stress strain curve right through here. If you've taken a materials, mechanics and materials class before, you'll know it's answer D, right? Measuring the slope of the initial line of the stress strain curve. It's measuring the slope that allows us to get that Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity. I could see that uh, answer B could possibly be enticing, um, but this is one that you kind of need to know, or you could look in the FE manual and see how that modulus of elasticity is, is derived, and that could help you find the answer to this one. So this is an example of a conceptual problem that maybe could have a solution in the FE handbook if you look properly um, and you did some deductive thinking. Now this next problem here is one uh, you'll know it or you or you won't, right? Um, and there are a number of those on the FE exam, and it's a good way to test your overall knowledge. So this one, hardening of steel can be accomplished by, so we're going over steel design here. Uh, a is factory production techniques. B is heat the steel to high temperatures followed by rapid cooling. A C, freezing for long periods of time. D, applying repetitive stress tests. So let's think about this logically here. If you know the answer, great. If you don't, let's uh, think through all the solutions here. So A, factory production techniques. I mean, that could be true, but think about how broad and vague it is, right? If it's this vague, um, it's likely not going to be the solution, right? There could, uh, factory production techniques could be absolutely anything. And I would vie for going a little more of a specific answer in this case. B, heat the steel to high temperatures followed by rapid cooling. Absolutely could be answer B. C, freezing for long periods of time. Um, I mean, that could increase the brittleness of the steel, but hardening, uh, I'm not so convinced on that. And D, applying repetitive stress tests, that would just wear the steel down over time. So it seems clear to me that uh, B is the correct answer here. Heating the steel to high temperatures followed by rapid cooling. So that's a, some examples of mechanics and materials conceptual problems let me know if you have any questions about those problems down below in the comments. And if you have a sample problem or a topic you'd like me to cover, leave a comment there as well. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.